myself together. We're going to do what I usually do, and then we'll hit it. I'm just talking away. All right, let's make sure this is working. Testing, testing. You would think I have all day. I heard myself, so we're going to say it's working. Hey there! It is Julie. I am here as the social work expat, and I am excited to see you. Merry Christmas. Happy Boxing Day, if that is your thing. And if none of those things are your thing, happy Tuesday. It is my lunchtime. I have been live streaming myself, learning things about AI and about how to make money online since July of this year and these next few days I thought it would be good to see about how we can make our own businesses online. One of the things that I am really excited about is I just started working with a um, text to image prompts and this is like a whole new world it's amazing just amazing stuff i am uh running my mouth because i'm trying to post to facebook and let people know that i am live if that is important to anyone what i've been doing is using my lunch times which i used to use to take a nap because i love naps to learn new things and to make some money online that is my goal and i will stop running my mouth because i posted hello mama let's see if we can come up with some ideas that we can use to make money online even if we don't have any ideas of our own I am super good at coming up with ideas. I have so many ideas that I am not afraid that someone's going to steal my one and only egg of an idea and make millions of dollars and let I'll be left out. That is not how I feel. That is not um, how I used to feel though. I used to feel like every single thing was so important and I couldn't share anything because what if somebody succeeded off of my idea when I didn't have enough? But the world is filled with enough for all of us. And it's filled with enough for all of us at this point, especially like during the Rona times, crypto went crazy. This is made up money that people made millions of real dollars with made up money. My goal is to make money online and to help as many people who look like me or who are in my life circumstances or who are willing to take the information and run with it to make money online too. I'm going to show you, this is all of the notes that I have. I can't see anything because I'm looking at this screen. Let me. Let me make it so I can see. Okay. This is, these are all, this is all I got. This is a note card. It says online. It says digital products. I think it says um, digital products, products, and then like services. This is it. I messed up the lighting. Okay, there we go. 
this is what I'm going to use to talk about and look at ways to get ideas to make money online. I have Bard open. If anyone has been on here before and seen what I do, I use AI tools to get information and also to generate content. What I did this for most recently was for Faceless October. There's a whole playlist on this channel for Faceless October. All of the steps that you would need to make a faceless YouTube channel or any faceless social media, all of the steps are there to generate passive income. If you're interested, just have a look at that. All of the tools, chatbots that I used for Faceless October were Google products. My goal is also to find as many free and low cost resources for people to get started without paying any money. As a social worker, I am very interested in making sure that people have access to what they need without the hurdle of huge amounts of money having to be spent. So, I've run my mouth enough. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to do two examples for each one of these three things on the card. It says digital downloads here, it says products here, and then it says services here. So I'm going to try to do two examples for each one. If you don't have any ideas about what you can do to make money online, go to one of these AI chatbots. There are other suggestions that I have as well, but I'll talk about those at the end. I'm going to go with digital downloads and type in a prompt. So I am interested in making an online business. I would like I would like to sell digital downloads. Please tell, no, nope. please give me a list of the 10 most, I was gonna say most popular. The whole goal of this is to find out Get an idea. So today we're going to get an idea or several. Tomorrow we're going to talk about will this idea make money? So all of these examples I hope to bring forward all week. I'm going to say please give me a list of the 10 best selling digital products. Okay. I am asking for a list of 10 barred um, chat GPT, um, Claude and other AI chatbots. You can ask for a list of 50. You can ask for a list of a hundred. It all depends on what you're looking for. I asked for a list of 10 here just to get started. And I also asked for the 10 best selling digital products because the whole goal is to make money. Bard says here, here are 10 of the best selling digital products you can consider for your online business. And I'm just going to read the headings. It gives more information because all of these AI chatbots, unless you specifically tell them in the prompt that you want a short answer, give you long answers. So we have online courses as number one, ebooks as number two, templates and tools as number three, Digital art and graphics as number four, music and audio as number five, software and apps as number six, photography and stock images as number seven, printable digital products as number eight, digital memberships as number nine, and then online services as number 10. Now, I had it separated out as digital downloads and then services, 
So number 10, I will use as an example here. Okay, that's a good start. What I think I would like to do, and I'm just checking the chat to make sure. Okay, so what I would like to do is narrow down the digital downloads to, I need a pen. This is what happens when you're actually working full time and doing this during your lunch. So for the digital downloads part, I think I'm going to focus on, so online courses, it's number one is best selling, but it takes a lot of time. Mm -mm. Ebooks, they don't actually take a lot of time, but there are other people who talk about that and they do a really great job. Templates and tools. Okay, I think I'm going to write that one down. This is just what pops out to me from this list, but you could ask a different question and get a fully different answer. The ideas are the beginning, and if you don't have any ideas, you can use AI, so BARD in this instance, to ask a question and help generate ideas. There is also the ability to, before I say that, I'm going to go to number eight here, the printable digital products. And I'm just writing this down because this will help guide the rest of my live stream and also the rest of what I am going to do tomorrow and online services so here for number 10 it talks about virtual consultations okay so we've got consultations we've got coaching sessions design services writing services or technical support in your area of expertise so I wrote down consultations and coaching sessions um, just to give me something to work from. And Bard actually gave some additional information that I'm going to read. It says here, bonus, consider subscription boxes with curated digital content or tools related to your chosen niche. That is also possible. And at the end, it says, remember, the best selling product depends on your target audience, skills, and passion. So tomorrow we're going to talk about target audience. Skills, we will talk about that a teeny tiny bit, but you would know what you're good at. And I believe, which I've said in other live streams, that there is a genius inside of every single one of us and I feel like AI can help bring the genius out of all of us including people who feel like they don't have anything to offer we are all here for a reason and we all have something to offer and so that's why I'm here to help I am going to give a little plug right here I am offering help on this live stream but also if you need help with other parts of coming up with your online business or your physical business i have over 20 years of experience in providing executive level support in a variety of contexts um, as wendy williams used to say mother has lived I have done many things and I know from what I've seen in this current job that I have there is money to be made everywhere if you need a little bit of help I am offering very reasonable prices for technical virtual assistance I will also say that I am the only social worker who is certified in artificial intelligence by the Berkeley Law School 
So if you care about credentials, I've got those too. But right now we're trying to get to the money. So it talks about digital products. I now have two examples for digital downloads, two examples for services. I'm going to ask Bard. I'm going to go back up here just to mirror how I asked the question before. I don't have to do that, but I like to do that when I write prompts. And I'm going to say thank you, please. Give me a list of, okay, this one's for physical products. A list of the 10, mm -mm, a list of 10 best selling physical products I can sell online. Now, I only ask for 10 but depending on what you like and what you're interested in, because one of the things about having a business is that it can consume you if you let it, just like anything. But you have to know about your area a little bit. You don't have to know everything, but you need to know a little bit and you need to like it. So let's say, I just, I'm going to read this list that Bard just came up with, but let's say I decided that I wanted to sell uh, I'm looking at stuff on my desk. Ah, I have some stamps here. I have stamps here because I had to do something for work. So here are some stamps. Let's say that I decided that I wanted to resell stamps as physical products. I wanted to sell them online. That's super boring, but if the money was right, maybe I would think it wasn't boring. When I was working on a work pro project and I needed stamps, I saw these are, I think, 66 cents per stamp now, U.S. Postal Service. I saw stamps that people were selling on Amazon for like a dollar a piece. Forever stamps, whenever you buy them, the Postal Service is just going to keep raising the price. So if you bought a bunch of stamps when they were still like 50 cents, right, and you sell them to desperate people like I was on Amazon and sell it by Prime so they get it in two days, let's say they live in the country like I do, or their car doesn't work, or they don't have a car, but they need to mail things sell it to them for a dollar a piece, they'll buy it. You have it sent to them in two days. Everybody's happy and you made, let's see, let's say it was 50 cents, you sold it for a dollar, not including processing fees, you just made 50 cents per stamp and we'll say it's a book of, um, how many stamps are in this, 10? Okay, so you made five bucks on a book of stamps simple and that's a physical product that you could sell online because people are selling them online all right this says here are 10 best selling physical products you can consider for your online business along with some insights into their trends and potential challenges which I did not ask Bard for but that's actually really helpful information which I will not be reading. It's on screen. And if you would like to read it as I scroll through, feel free to pause on any replay of this. I'm just going to read the headings. So number one, stylish phone accessories. So today is the day after Christmas. Did you get a phone for Christmas, like a new one? And you want to decorate your new phone and you want to buy things for your phone? Stylish phone accessories, says number one. Two, comfy and trendy athleisure. Athleisure is huge. Like, for instance, I have been working 
not in an office for over a year now. There are many people who work from home and don't need to wear office clothes. Some people who don't work from home, like a lot of people who work in IT, don't have to dress up at all. Athleisure is a huge market. Number three, sustainable, eco-friendly products. Number four, personalized beauty and skincare. I'm going to write that one down for products because uh, I think that'll be a good one for tomorrow. Personalized beauty and skincare. My handwriting is not the best. Number five is functional home organization systems. And you know, if, if you pay attention to the cycles that sales cycles right after Christmas, which we are in, up until probably the end of January, stores, retail stores will start selling lots of home organization stuff because we get things for Christmas and then we need a place to keep them or organize them. So that is actually a really good big bestseller physical product. Number six, pet supplies with a twist. That's a good one. I'm going to write that one down too as the second. Okay, pet supplies. All right. Number seven is board games and puzzles for adults. This is huge. This is a huge area. I'm not going to say any more about that because I'm I got my two, but I'll finish this list. Number eight, outdoor adventure gear. Number nine, tech gadgets and accessories. I have several tech gadgets. I've got my little headset right here. Um, off of my Amazon wish list for Christmas, I got a portable two terabyte storage for all of these videos and images and all these things. Fantastic. Number 10, stationery and art supplies. So some of these best selling physical products have tie-ins to the digital products as well. And if that is not how your brain works, I'm going to plug again while I check the time and also check to see if there are any questions or comments in the chat. There are not. So if coming up with ideas is not a thing that you want to do, or you're not good at that, or you feel like you're not good at that, you can use AI chatbots like Bard to help you come up with ideas. And if you do not want to use a computer for that, I am here to help. I did not bring a book that I bought. I actually bought a book for my children. I'm going to go to Amazon. I'm going to go to Amazon really quickly. And No, I'm going to do it a different way because I would just like, I would just like the link instead of my whole Amazon on YouTube. I'm going to ask, okay, thank you. I'm going to ask Mark. Thank you. This is a good list. Um, oh, I have lots of time. Okay, good. Please tell me. Mm -mm. Please give me a list of, I'll ask for five, five books I can read that will help me come up with business ideas. 
for instance, there is a kids entrepreneur, that's such a long word, book that I bought once. All right. So I gave the for instance because I really want a book that's going to talk about the ideas. Oh, now it's asking for more stuff. Oh, okay, that's cool. So, it's asking for stuff, but it gave me the list of five. And I don't, I think I remember number four is a real book. But before I read these out, I'm going to go to the bottom of Bard. And Bard has the ability, it doesn't always do it. It says it does, but it doesn't. If you click the G, for Google, it says double check the response. If there is a web link to what Bard is talking about, it will la it will highlight green, like you see right here. Four out of the five books are highlighted as green. I am going to add, for our purposes, I'm not going to dig too much deeper. Um, I think I remember this, the $100 startup, but I'll read these titles, the ones that are highlighted green anyway. So we've got Steal Like an Artist, and it says that this book encourages creative entrepreneurs to embrace influence and remix existing ideas instead of fearing them. Then we have Thinker Toys, which is a play on the word Tinker Toys. It says it is a handbook of creative thinking techniques, and it's talking about having exercises and practical methods to kind of start thinking outside the box. Then it says Zero to One Notes on Startups or How to Build the Future by Peter Thiel. Mm, these are not practical, but they're it sounds like they're good books if you're really interested in going down to study more. I am gonna I'm gonna get close to the camera real quick. I am an overthinker. I will study something to death instead of pulling the trigger. I shouldn't say it that way. On here. Instead of executing, I will study over. So I'm trying to get right to it instead of what I like to do, which is actually a bonus for anyone who would ever want to work with me. I will study something in a way that you probably would not. And I think about things slightly differently. So that might help stimulate ideas for your business. And then we've got Business Model You by Tim Clark. It says this book is interactive. And you can design and test business models based on your strengths and passions. And it promotes self-discovery along with business planning. That's pretty good. I think, I think I don't have time to look for that book, so I'll find it tomorrow. It's out in the other room on the bookshelf. I'll find it tomorrow and I'll show it. But the Kid Entrepreneur book has like a bunch of ideas about ways you can make money. If you're not interested in books and you just want to get right down to it, using an AI chatbot will work well, as well as getting some help. I am happy to be of assistance if you need it or you would like it. I am also very good as a sounding board. I worked with attorneys for many years and am very, very conscious of making sure that I keep confidential things confidential. That includes if you have a business idea and you're afraid that someone's going to steal it, I am not that person to do so. I have so many ideas that I am pursuing for my own business ventures that I do not have time to steal yours and I would hold whatever idea, your egg, your business egg, right here very carefully in my hands to make sure that what you are interested in would stay confidential.
Okay, this might be a super short stream, which I kind of like. I might be able to eat during my lunch break. I'm going to ask Bard one more question. Okay, thank you. I do not remember the exact title of the book in question. If I didn't want to read a book, are there any social media pages that offer business ideas um, for people looking looking to start one. For instance, I have seen social media posts, social media pages that give suggestions for people to start vending machine businesses, um, drop shipping businesses, making digital products to sell on Etsy and other online platforms and pages that suggest people buy and flip thrifted items. Okay, that was a long for instance, but hopefully it will help guide what, oh, okay, it's giving, so Bard is giving suggestions of social media pages that provide business ideas. So let's say you don't have any ideas of your own. You don't necessarily want to ask an AI chatbot, right? And you don't want to read a book because it might slow you down, right? I'm going to, before I read these out, I'm going to go down here and click double check response. One of the things that I like about BARD is that anyone who has a Google account has free access to use BARD as an AI chatbot. I also like the fact that BARD is connected to the internet. That is something that Claude, which is another AI chatbot that I have shown on this page, doesn't have right now. And looking at double checking this response is not looking good. None of these are green, but that's okay. One of the things about using AI chatbots as well is whatever it gives you, go and double check it. One way that I heard it said was trust but verify, which is something we should all be doing in life anyway. I'm going to read out these social media pages that Bard provided, even though none of them have a green verification. This would be something to absolutely check. We've got Side Hustle, I can talk, Side Hustle Nation. We have Million Dollar Mistakes, and this it says, these are Instagram pages. It says, focusing on learning from the failures of others, featuring cautionary tales and valuable insights to avoid common pitfalls. These right here, don't have green next to them. If 
bard has done its evil genie work, which it does sometimes, which means bard sometimes just be making up stuff. If it has made up the these two Instagram pages and they don't exist, that's actually, both of these are actually really good ideas for faceless Instagram channels, which is down a different rabbit hole. If somebody sees this and they want to flesh out this further, because who knows if it's true, I'll double check maybe one day, you can hit me up. I am happy to help you with that. Or you can investigate on your own. That's one of the reasons why I do these live streams. And then we've got Females Who Hustle, which is also on Instagram. On Twitter or X or whatever it's called now, we have a list of three. We've got Startup Weekend, we have The Hustle, and then we have Founders Digest. If any of these are not actually real, they might be really good for someone to start. They can be monetized, and that is definitely a way to make money online. And then there are three listed here for Facebook. We've got the Side Hustle Society. We have Small Business Ideas Group. And we have Start Your Own Business on Facebook. Feel free to check those as well. Then on YouTube, they have three listed. We've got Gary V. He's really famous and uh, it talks about he shares actionable advice. So he it says he often features specific business ideas. So that would be really good. Then we have Marie Forleo. Marie Forleo, I think that's how it's pronounced. And then we have the future with an E gone. So the future without an E. These are on YouTube. Then Bard also said, and I will read these out. I'm going to have time to eat during my lunch. I'm so excited. Bard says here, remember, nope. It says, check out your preferred social media platforms search function for relevant hashtags. And it gave a few hashtags, three of them. We have business inspiration, entrepreneur life, side hustle ideas. Those are really good to check. And then Bard also said, consider online communities like Reddit's r slash entrepreneur or r slash small business for discussions and idea sharing which is really good. And the third suggestion was subscribe to relevant entrepreneurial newsletters or blogs for regular content and inspiration. That's a really good idea as well. I think I am able, I'm moving up here. I think I'm able to share the link to a chat and I'm going to put the link to this chat in the chat for the stream. It might be helpful to someone and hopefully I'll remember to put it in the description as well. This was really helpful to me. I got six ideas here from the prompt engineering session. We've got digital downloads, templates, and printable digital products. Those could go on an Etsy shop or another online vendor to sell digital products. Then we have physical products. We've got personalized beauty and skincare and pet supplies, which both of those are really good. And then for services, I wrote down <clears throat> consultations and coaching sessions. My voice is going, sorry. This is, these are actually really good suggestions. And I'm going to show this again. 
if you want to make money online, but you don't have any ideas of your own, this session, this live stream was really helpful. Just a quick prompt session to show you that you can generate business ideas from many different places. And from just these six, I'm going to do, do as much as possible tomorrow to do market research on these six ideas. If you are interested in learning a little bit more or you're interested in having somebody else do this for you because it's, it's too complex or you feel like it's too complex for you or you don't have enough time, I am offering very low priced assistance for business ideas and market research. You can hit me up using the QR code on the screen and I'm going to see if I can. Okay, all that talking and it didn't work. All right, I'm gonna come back on screen. If you are someone who needs a little bit of assistance and if you are a sole caregiving parent, if you are a black woman who is in corporate America but is not making the amount of money that you should for the value that you are giving, to these corporations if you are a college student and looking for ideas to make money to fund whatever you would like if you want to travel and you need funds for that having online products or services can very much help you with that and if you need any assistance i am offering my experience to you at a very reasonable price use the QR code on screen or you can feel free to email me my email is in the description if this is something that you find interesting or need more information about please feel free to check out some of my other videos I have gone through many of the steps for market research that I'll go through tomorrow during Faceless October and there's a playlist in this YouTube channel with all of the Faceless October content. I will say and I will actually go into just the camera if it's working. Let me see if this will work. It is working. I will say if you have hung in this long please feel free to join me tomorrow I look forward to doing market research on these ideas and if you have any questions about AI products or tools if you're there are any AI tools that you feel like you don't have time to dig into and you just would like some suggestions I am happy to look into those for you and Thank you for taking the ride with me today. If no one has told you, you look 
fantastic. You smell even better. I hope that you eat something that you love today. I hope that you are able to walk in peace. And if no one else heard you, I heard you. That idea that you gave in the meeting, that idea in the conversation, and it looked like it fell flat, I heard you. It was a good idea. And if you need a little bit of support, I am here to provide that as well. Take care and see you next time.